you for calling customer service. Gusto ko rin makapasok sa isang non-voice account pero wala akong idea kung paano sumagot sa mga interview. Hindi ko rin alam ang mga teknik kung paano makukumbinsi ang nag interview na ipasok ako sa isang non-voice account. Well, sa video ito, magbibigay ako ng top 10 most common interview questions with answers para sa non-voice account. Maswerte ka na naman at napanood mo to. Welcome sa channel ng mga swabe. Ako nga pala si Kuya Rene Boy at gumagawa ako ng mga call center sure hard tips na kakatulong sa mga aspiring applicants. Nagkakandak din kami ng call center interview practice via Zoom every Friday yan. Baka gusto mong sumali, libre yan. Para masiguro natin na makakatulong kapasa ka rin sa iyong a-apply yan marami na nakapasa sa channel na to baka ikaw na ang susunod kaya kung bago ka lang sa channel ko make sure na naklik mo na yung subscribe button at yung notification bell para updated ka pa sa mga paparating ko pa mga videos abangan mo rin yung mga hiring updates ko dyan sa description available kasi minsan ang ating non-voice account, available yung local account at yung mga work from home na account, sana makatulong si Kuya Rene Boy sa call center journey mo Hindi ko na ito patatagalin mga kaswabe Umpisahan na natin, let's go! Non-voice account aka Dream LOB Bakit nga ba tinawag na Dream LOB? Kasi nga guys, pinapangarap to ng mga applicant Or ng mga dati nang meron ng call center experience Lalong lalo na sa voice account Tapos toxic yung pinanggalingan nila Pangarap nilang makaranas ng non-voice account Kasi dito guys, hindi mo kailangan gumamit ng bibig Talagang utak at daliri lang ang puhunan Sa pagiging non-voice agent Hindi mo kailangan magpakapagod Magdadaldal araw-araw Dahil pwede mong kausapin si customer Via chat or via email lang Panoorin nyo guys yung video na yan sa taas Yung una kong video about non-voice Sana mapanood nyo yan uh, may, Naipaliwana ko dyan kung paano nyo magagamit Itong mga questions with answers na to Na kahit wala kang experience Kayang kaya mo rin makapasok Sa isang non-voice account Ganun pa din kahit non-voice to guys I-apply pa rin natin yung mga natutunan natin Sa mga nakaraang videos Kasi all about customer service pa rin to Or isang pagiging CSR pa rin Ang pagiging non-voice agent so, kagaya ng nabanggit ko sa nakaraang video natin about non-voice account, um, kung meron na kayong acquired non-voice skill by your own, sobrang magagamit nyo yan. Pwede nyo i-relate yung sagot ninyo or yung non-voice skills na meron na kayo, pwede nyo yung ihalo or isama. I-emphasize nyo lang, magaling na kayo sa ganyan, sa chat or sa email, para talaga makumbinsin nyo yung interviewer na ipasok kayo sa isang non-voice account. Umpisa na natin. In your opinion, what makes great customer service? Great customer service means listening to your customers. It means empathizing with them and their experiences and working hard to find the best solution to your customers' problems. It means knowing how to pacify a situation with an angry customer and using problem-solving skills to make sure that everyone walks away from the interaction satisfied. What skills could you bring to a live chat team? Well, I'm an excellent communicator. I'm a fast typist person. I'm dedicated, hardworking, and a perfectionist. I also try to become an online seller. I do everything I can to help them via chat. I know how it feels to be a customer in online shopping, and I know the experiences that they are looking for. I know that I can give that to them. Are you capable to multitask or to handle multiple systems? chats at once i'm very comfortable with multitasking and i believe that i'm absolutely capable of that as an online seller i had to take care of multiple customers at once while making sure that their requests and orders had an equally satisfying experience i believe that this skill would translate well to bpo live chat what are some skills that you might need to succeed as a live chat agent I do multitasking with my social media accounts to chat with my customers, relatives, and friends. I'm a fast typer though. That's something that I imagine you need to succeed with live chat in particular. What kind of customer service system have you used and how familiar you are with it? Yes, I've learned how to use a CRM system to track online orders before. Lazada had taught me that all customer interactions needed to be recorded there and I came to understand the importance of looking at a customer's history before putting together a response to their query. 
We cannot hear the tone of our customer via live chat. What do you think the clues to know how a customer is feeling? Well, you can watch out for an ellipsis. That to me seems like an indicator that the customer is waiting for you to say something. If a customer responds in all capital letters, they are probably very upset. How they use exclamation marks and smiley faces can also be telling of satisfaction levels. What are your strengths and weaknesses when interacting with a customer? Well, I'm a people person. I enjoy approaching and talking to customers and making sure that they get what they need. I love solving their problems. I'd say that a weakness that I have when interacting with customers is knowing when to give up on trying to solve a problem. I'm working on learning when to call for backup when necessary. What is teamwork for you? In my online selling experience, I also had a team to sell some goods in the online platform. I would sometimes cover a co-seller's complaint if he's not online or available in the platform. To me, teamwork means being there for your co-workers and providing them support whenever necessary. What was your proudest moment helping a customer? My proudest moment helping a customer was one time when a customer was chatting at our online store extremely upset because she received a damaged product. I was able to replace the product right away and gave her a free coupon discount to compensate for her troubles. She wrote me the nicest review I have ever read. It was really fulfilling moment for me. Last question. How well you work under pressure? I'm familiar with working under pressure. In our online selling platform, there was something that we had to deal with every weekend. A large volume or amount of customers, customers who were sometimes upset about the wait time or with the order they never received. Typically, I just practice the rule that the customer is always right. I use smile emoticons and apologize as needed to sort of ease the stress. I also practice breathing exercises when I'm alone to release some of my own stress. So yun ang top 10 most interview questions with answers natin para sa non-voice account. Kung napapansin ninyo guys, sobrang na-emphasize natin dun ang pagiging non-voice or ang isang skill ng isang pagiging non-voice or ng isang chat support. So kung meron na kayong skill sa pag-i-email, kayang-kaya nyo nang sagutin ang mga interview na yan. Kagaya ng nakalagay dyan, you can tailor that as much as you can. So kayo nang bahalang mag-paraphrase kung paano nyo marerelate yung sarili nyong skills pwede nyong gamitin mismo yung answers na yan, pwede nyong gamitin yan okay lang kay Kuya Rene Boy para hindi na kayo mahirapang mag-compose kasi na-proofread ko na yan and wala na tayong masyadong grammar lapses dyan sa mga sagutan na yan ang gagawin nyo na lang, memorize and practice in front of the mirror para talaga mas pulido mong ma-deliver ang iyong mga sagot kapag tinanong ka na ng mga ganitong klasing tanong Kung mabanggit man sa interview yung mga why should we hire you, tell me something about yourself, tsaka yung mga how do you see yourself 5 years from now, makikita nyo yan sa iba pa natin mga video. So, di na natin siya inulit. So, itong sampung katanungan na to, given yan or proven yan, talagang tinanong ko rin yung mga ibang non-voice agent kung ano yung mga tinanong sa kanila. And ito yung mga sample na interview questions na naranasan nila nung nag-apply sila sa isang non-voice account. Si Kuya Rene Boy din, karamihan sa mga tanong na yan ay natanong din sa akin nung nag-apply ako sa isang non-voice account. At eto na ako ngayon, isa na rin non-voice agent si Kuya Rene Boy. Maswerte ka na naman at napanood mo to. Kung mapapansin mo, hindi talaga kailangan ng experience. Kung meron ka ng non-voice daw na experience sa ibang company, hindi na kailangan yan kaswabe. Kahit ito lang o oh, yung mga nararanasan natin araw-araw sa pag-order lang sa mga Shopee, sa Lazada, sa pakikipag-chat, paggamit ng mga social media accounts natin, dun pa lang guys, sobrang applicable na yan para sa non-voice account. Lalong-lalo na kung meron kayong PC or computer sa bahay, sobrang advantage nyo yan. Ang gagawin nyo na lang, masterin nyo yung tatlong tip na Tinuro ko dun sa nakaraang video ko. Practice nyo yung typing skills nyo and then acquire the non-voice skills by your own. Sobrang magagamit nyo yan sa inyong pag-a-apply para sa non-voice account. 
shout out sa lahat na nagpapa shout out shout out kay Bilas Royce Flores shout out sa bayong Mark Anthony Orinion shout out kay April Bernal at kay TL Lina Padua shout out sa lahat na nagpapa shout out and syempre God bless us all